Okay, this is a quick follow-up to my last video where I talked about getting a cheaper uh, PS2 style connector trackball to work on something like a Raspberry Pi arcade conversion PC or Mac. And I talked about the fact that you had to use an active adapter, which is something like this on the screen there, which basically takes the signal from the PS2 mouse, translates it into something that the USB bus can understand, and then spits it out the USB side. So you may ask yourself, what is this sense then of ever using a passive adapter like this that does not do the same thing? Well, apparently some sort of late model PS2 mice and keyboards uh, have technology built into them so that it can sense when you're using a USB connection through one of these adapters and it knows to then say, okay, hey, I'm plugged into a, one of these passive adapters I should now be speaking the USB protocol uh, through this adapter, uh, through the USB and into the computer. Um, and some devices, if they're just older or they're never meant for that, don't do that. So for example, the trackball in my video only speaks PS2 um, language or code or, or uh, signals for lack of a better way of saying that. Um, so again, when you, so in that case, when you just use this adapter, it's just sending the same PS2 signals through here and then through here, which your computer does not know how to interpret or understand. So um, if you're using sort of a newer device, it may not need the full active adapter like this. But again, in my experience with these trackballs, with these arcade or Raspberry Pi applications, you definitely need this active adapter to do that translation for you.